Greetings everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News with Black Friday chaos as Amazon warehouse workers are set to strike across 40 countries. Let's check some details. Thousands of workers across approximately 40 countries are planning to take part in Black Friday protests to demand better wages and working conditions in the company's warehouses as the global cost of living crisis increases. Amazon workers in the U.S., U.K., India, Japan, Australia, South Africa, and across Europe are set to walk out of warehouses on Friday, today, the 25th of November, as they demand higher wages and better working conditions amid the worst inflationary environment the world has seen in decades. Now, the labor action is called Make Amazon Pay, that's Make Amazon Pay, and is coordinated by an army of trade unions with support from civil society and environmental groups. For workers and consumers, the price of everything is going up. And for everyone, the global temperature is rising and our planet is under stress. But instead of supporting its workers, communities, and the planet, Amazon is squeezing every last drop it can, Make Amazon Pay's website said. And Make Amazon Pay is correct by outlining that real wages are down. So, will this uh, this strike actually occur? Will it occur in just a few locations? Will it occur across the board in the Amazon warehouses? Those who are panic buying, buying all of their stuff for Christmas. We can't have Christmas without our stuff. As they're panicking and buying, perhaps not even buying groceries, perhaps not paying their rent, but making sure that they get their stuff in this challenging Amazon and this challenging, excuse me, economic climate. How could this strike have an influence? This is something that will be interesting to watch not only today, Black Friday the 25th, but going through the coming day. Interesting times indeed, my friends, as we are making that tumultuous transition toward the tribulation and the economy, as you know it, is going to go through a collapse ition. It is going through a collapse ition, becoming part of a one-world economy. Things are changing. Get ready because they're going to change whether we take part or not. But please remember, the word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This is Jim reminding you, before I sign off, to press into Jesus Christ and have no fear. God bless you.